Marty, what's up? I'm Marty Schwartz uh, with NextLevelGuitar.com. And uh, basically, I just have like your standard country lick, and uh, it's used a lot in, in endings, you know, endings of songs. You know, that kind of thing. Now, um, you know, I just want to preface and say, uh, you know, I'm not doing a lot of country gigs, and I, I, you know, when people ask what kind of guitar music I play, they don't usually say country, but um, but there's been a lot of situations where, you know, you find yourself, and all of a sudden, you, you know, you've got this one country song that uh, that that you're going to end up doing, or or you know, somehow you find yourself in this situation, and you're like, you know, oh, I don't play that style, but you know, it's nice to have a couple of a couple of you know little tricks in the bag to pull out just in case you find yourself in in that in that situation. So, um, and uh, I'll say this: I played. Um, I've never been in a country band, but I, I have played um, quite a bit of, of bluegrass, like acoustic bluegrass music, and and that's an um, um, amazing music to to check out. Um, kind of like the the bluegrass, uh, you know, guitar legend would be a guy named Tony Rice. Now. There's no way you can listen to him and not say he's absolutely burning and amazing and funky and soulful. But it's all kind of like within that, you know, uh, country genre or really, you know, more of a traditional country uh, bluegrass kind of vibe. Okay, so let me talk about the scale that's used a lot. Most country um, and especially bluegrass is in the key of G. Okay, and so. Um, I always find it interesting the correlation actually between uh, country and blues because uh, most blues is in kind of more of an E minor kind of vibe. And if I'm talking about E minor and then you talk about music theory, the, there's a term called the relative major. And the relative major of E minor is G major. So G major and E minor. They're kind of like one's the evil twin, one's the good twin. Uh, I wouldn't say who who is what, but but in other words, they're really related to each other. So I find that it's interesting because um, the scale you would use for country would be called the G major pentatonic scale or the G major blues scale, which is the exact same notes as the E minor pentatonic or the E uh, minor blues scale. So you're actually playing the exact same scale, and they couldn't sound more different, you know, in, in vibe. So I think it's like really cool when you see that. So I'm going to play it right now um, as the G major pentatonic or the G major blues scale. And so the only difference between the G major blues scale and the E minor blues scale is just what we're thinking of as our tonal center or what uh, the root of the scale is, okay? So if I'm going to play on um, the G major blues scale, I'm going to start with my ring finger on the third fret on G. Just like that, okay? And now I'm going to go up what a lot of you have learned is the E minor pentatonic. So when I land on this G, that should be the conclusion of the scale. It should sound like it's resolved. So that's the difference. The difference is that it, it, your ear is is leaning towards that G note of that scale instead of the E note. Okay. And when I was first playing guitar, I listened to you know I was uh, when I was first getting into guitar and getting into lead playing, I was into you know the Allman Brothers, and they used you know kind of like a country rock kind of vibe, and Leonard Skinner uses the the country influence. So um, so. You know these devices can be used kind of in a more rock setting than just you know a straight up country um, okay so here's the lick that's it so I start with my ring finger on the third fret and I hit it okay then I'm gonna hammer on the second fret of the A string with my middle finger so here's those two together just like that. Then on the D string, I'm going to I'm going to hammer on the second fret, and then take the finger off and hit it open. 
just like that. Here are all of those notes together. And then open D first. And then just simply the open G string. Okay, but what I did was I just repeated the lick again the next octave up. And then I slid up with my middle finger from the second fret to the fourth fret. First finger on the third fret on the B string, hold that down, hammer on, and then off. And then the G again. So here it is together. down a couple of little all stuff that you could really you know use your E your E blues your E minor pentatonic blues licks in a in a G major kind of vibe all right so I'm just gonna uh, loop a little you know a little G chord and then I'm gonna play that G major blues over it and you're gonna hear it immediately sounds like country with with you know almost just doing my E minor blues licks. Here it is. What's up? Marty Schwartz here at nextlevelguitar.com. I hope you had fun, um, you know, trying something a little different. You know, I, I know I like, you know, being challenged sometimes or kind of going out of my comfort zone. And I, I, I think, uh, you know, for me, falling or finding myself in a country situation is, it can be like that. So it's, it's fun to just have a couple of little, uh, these little tricks there that you're ready, you know. So anyway, come check out the site, nextlevelguitar.com. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll help you with whatever you need. Take care.